Welcome back to Kaidu Rider. We crash tested my wife's SW Motec crash bars. I can't this channel has no sponsorships whatsoever. All things are bought with our own money. These are our own experiences and opinions. Buy at your own risk. Welcome back to Kaidu Rider. Now, first and foremost, I want to say why did we buy crash bars instead of sliders? The simple reason is we ride on public roads. So as you see here, there's plenty of dirt and dead rice fields. And here is pavement. So when we go down, sliders are great on the road. Crash bars are okay. As for in the dirt, crash bars can be a bit better. And you never know if you're going to slide off the road into the dirt. So these can be very useful. The other nice thing is these, if you can see from here in the front, they stick out a bit. So yes, they protect the radiator, they protect the bike but they also protect the passenger's foot pegs and legs. So yes, there's less flex. You could argue it may do more damage to the frame, but it will protect the rider, i.e. my wife, i.e. my favorite person. So what happened in the crash? Well, as you see, we have these budget sliders, which did pretty much nothing whatsoever. Uh, it's the angle, it's no one's fault but my own, but it's where they fit. So it's what we got. As far as the results, you see here's some scratches. And you see right here is some more scratches. Also right here on the brake lever and a little bit here on the mirror, there were some scratches. Now the bike itself was completely fine, but more importantly, how did my wife do the rider? She managed to step away from it pretty good. This was a relatively low speed crash. It was around 10 to 15 kilometers an hour on a turn. She stalled the gear and panicked in traffic because Again, she is a new rider, but she managed to let the bike fall down and step away. And another injury we didn't think about till recently is when she was first learning to ride, she had a small minor crash, but it did result in her having shoulder surgery. Now, her shoulder is 98% fine now. If she had to catch the bike or if it fell pulling her down, she would have probably had a pretty serious injury from that. But the crash bars caught the bike so it did not fall the whole way down. So instead of when she held on, the bars didn't go straight to the road. The handlebars went to where the crash bar hit, which is about this high off the ground. And then it rolled the rest of the way gently. And I checked her out afterwards. She had never gone down in traffic before. So she was obviously shaken up emotionally. But her gear had no damage. She had no damage. She was perfectly fine, ready to ride home another two and a half hours. So would I say that these are good for us and we're happy with our investment? Overall, yes, I give them an A+. Obviously, this was not a huge, crazy crash, so I'm not going to say this is great for 200 kilometers an hour. Also, generally, they are very strong, they're very clean, easy to put on the bike, and they look like they belong on the bike, other than our little decorations they don't look like something that was added. They do look like a factory fit thing. And I find them relatively attractive. It helps that it is black on black. And again, the installation was very easy. There's this crossbar which lines up easy, this mount here, and this through bolt. And let's go to the other side. Same thing, easy as. It was very easy, took us maybe 30 minutes. And as far as mounting, you see here, there is a helmet lock because Suzuki does not give us one with the bike or at least none that we found. So you can mount things really easily to these bars and they work great for that. If you are curious about things like this helmet lock and the other things you see mounted around the bike, you can see the video linked in the top right corner. That video is the original first service review and mod. So you can see that video with the links to everything that is on the bike. And again, even from this side, you can see where it sticks out. It protects the bike. It also protects the rider's legs and the passenger as a whole. Which is a really big, wonderful feature of this product. And again, some people will have different opinions about should you use crash bars? Should you use sliders? To some extent, that's a matter of opinion. If you're racing on racetracks, you have your answer, get sliders. If you're doing strictly off-road, crash bars or something else, we're not real off-roaders. But since we ride on public roads like this and you never know what you're going to get in a crash because as far as I know, unless you're a dirt biker, you're not planning your next crash. That's really all I have, just a short and simple general review. If you enjoyed, feel free to check out other videos in my playlist. I've got things on bikes, Japan, and mods, and plenty of other shenanigans. And remember, if you enjoy my content and seeing Japan, liking and subscribing fills our gas tank. Thanks for watching.